this point, we're, we're numb. Colleagues of the fallen Nassau County police officer Joseph Oliveri trying to make sense of a bombshell state appellate court ruling overturning a jury's conviction. I don't think he knew perhaps even until this morning, that the court had ruled in his favor. His client, 31-year-old James Ryan, sentenced to more than five years for manslaughter in the death of the police officer, saw his conviction tossed, and after two years behind bars, was released just hours ago from an upstate prison. It's very shocking. Fellow officers outraged that Ryan, speeding east on the Long Island Expressway in 2012, after getting drunk at a Manhattan lounge, sideswiped a vehicle, stopped short, and was rear-ended. Officer Oliveri got out of his patrol car to assist and more than seven minutes later was hit and killed by another car driving through the crash scene. There was a break in the chain of events that led to Officer Oliveri's death. The court ruled too much time had passed between accidents to blame Ryan for the officer's death. What people are now going to examine within all these legal circles is would this officer be alive today had this DWI incident never occurred? Officer Oliveri's funeral mass was attended by hundreds, his family deeply religious and spiritual. Since Officer Oliveri's funeral, his mother has died. His father, reached in Florida, was sobbing and shocked at the turn of events. The PBA spoke by phone to the family while we were there. It's been a long road for the, the Oliveri family. And, uh, you know, this just, 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 just drudges up that day and everything else for them. So, you know, we're hoping for closure one day for this family and a proper closure. The district attorney is reviewing appeal options, but those may be slim. From Mineola, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.